Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Uh, you wanted kudos, so let me give you some kudos. You certainly talk a good game, but the reality is you're not serious about fighting corruption in your own party. If you were serious, you wouldn't be sitting here with the Deputy President with a slew of allegations over his head. You wouldn't be sitting with a Speaker who has allegations over her head, who's been raided. And if you were serious, your lists would not be filled with people who were accused in the Zondo Commission of State Capture. Mr. President, you just mentioned that Parliament is, plays a very important role as a stakeholder in the oversight of this, and that serious matters require accountability. Those were your words. Mr. President, do you accept that a Speaker's house being raided by the National Prosecuting Authority is a serious matter? And do you believe that she should step aside to protect the integrity of this House and its envisaged role in fighting corruption. The Honourable President, order, Honourable Members, order. Honourable President, before you proceed, I recognise the Honourable Boroto. Oh, thank you, uh, Honourable House Chair. Honourable House Chair, this is a new question and it has nothing to do with what you are dealing with. This is pure, pure gossip. It's pure gossip and it's a cheap shot. I really want to appreciate that the President doesn't respond. Order, Honourable Members. Order, Honourable Members. Honourable Members. The question posed by the Honourable Grunewald specifically refers to, as an example, a Deputy Minister and members of the executive and the members' interest process. Now, this is a new question. This has no bearing on the primary question. And as order, honorable members, and as we know, a follow-up question must relate directly to the primary question that has been asked. Honorable Steer Nason. House Chair, I'm not wanting to get into a quibble with you, but if the rule, if you read the rule further, it says all arises from the response. The president opened the door when he said parliament has a role to play in, in combating corruption. The president himself, in his response, has opened the door for us to now discuss parliament's role in this. The speaker as the representative... Order, honorable members. The speaker as the representative of this house. Thank you. The door was opened by the president himself. Honorable, honorable member, now whether the door was opened by the president or not, the fact remains that the due process that the President has referred to has not been followed. And if you want to, you can submit the substantive motion or complain to the Ethics Committee so the Ethics Committee can consider the matter. Right? That, that is uh, where we are, Honourable Members. I don't know, Honourable President, if you want to respond to anything, but really this is a new question. Honourable Chair, House Chair, your ruling. It's my command. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Members. Honourable Members, in terms of, in terms of the request for uh, questions to the uh, President, there was a fourth opportunity that was available for a supplementary question that has not been taken up by the parties in terms of the rotation uh, that is there. Um, I don't know if there's anyone who wants to make use of an opportunity. Order, honourable members. Honourable members. Honourable members. Is there any other political party? No. Thank you, honourable members. No, I apply the principle of fairness. So if you had an opportunity, I will not allow you again. I will proceed, honourable members, to question number six that has been asked by the honourable check. Yes, honourable member. Point of order, House Chair. House Chair, the NA table advised earlier in the day that these were, uh, were open for parties to apply. They were then allocated. I was notified by the NA table that I would get the slot on, on this fifth follow-up question. This, you can check this with the NA table. The slot should have come to me, uh, House Chair, in terms of the agreed procedure for this. Honourable Members, this was not brought to my attention. Right, and I simply, in terms of the, 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 the rules, I will have a discussion with the NA table around the matter. But if you, if you look at the sequence and the fact that, in fact, Honorable Leader of the Opposition, you had an opportunity to ask a question. 
um, it is a matter that they should have consulted with, with the presiding officer before making such allocations. And in respect of that, I rule that we proceed to question number six. Three House Chair. Um, I, I order, can... honorable members. Honorable members, order. Order. Yes, honorable Sia I, I accept your ruling in that mm. regard. But nonetheless, nonetheless, you've put the question. Nobody else has wanted to put a question. I raised my hand. And therefore, the slot remains vacant and can be filled. There's be plenty of precedent of when people don't want to take up an opportunity that the person wanting to raise their hand is able to do that. Yeah, that is, that is, subject, that is subject to the presiding officer making a determination whether you had a fair opportunity. And I've ruled that that opportunity has been given to you. We now proceed to question number six asked by the Honorable Tseke.